Use this program to set up the types of activities to be used in the activity management modules. Select the new button to create a new activity type or select an existing activity type to review or make edits to it. In the general tab, enter a description with a max of 35 characters. Examples may include fitness, golf, tennis, etc. And ensure the active field is flagged. The module tabs will be available based on the modules your club has. Configure the settings for each applicable module that will use this activity type. If this activity type will be used for court bookings, enable this activity type can be used in court booking. This means that when setting up court types, you can assign this activity type to that court type. If you want to configure the settings for consecutive bookings, enable apply rule and set the max number of consecutive bookings. Enforce minimum interval for bookings to be considered non-consecutive. Enable this field to set a minimum interval between non-consecutive bookings for bookings to be considered non-consecutive. Enforce consecutive bookings maximum duration. Enable this field to set a maximum consecutive duration. This limits a member's ability to make consecutive bookings if the total duration of all consecutive bookings is greater than the maximum consecutive duration. If this activity type will be used for class scheduling, enable this activity type can be used in class scheduling in the general tab. Optionally select a payment item for auto settlement. The available choices include the payment items such as member charge. The staff must be scheduled dropdown lets you select among the following choices. The facility sub tab can be used to associate this activity type to specific facilities by flagging the eligible box for applicable facilities, such as Fitness Room A. Likewise, the Resources tab can be used to associate available resources to the activity type by flagging the eligible box for applicable resources, such as the ball machine. If this activity type will be used for event management, enable this activity type can be used in events and flag the eligible box for applicable facilities to associate this activity type to specific facilities. If this activity type will be used for appointment booking, enable this activity type can be used in appointment booking within the general tab. If your club is utilizing online appointment bookings, you can enable this activity as bookable online. If you want to set advanced booking restrictions, enable restrict advanced bookings and set the minimum and maximum days and times that bookings can be made in advance. Optionally add a predefined cancellation policy and define when cancellations can be made prior to an appointment, either in days or in hours. Enable allow guest bookings if guests can be booked for this activity type. Use the time slot interval to control the appointment durations that will be available as multiples of the time slot interval. For example, if you set the time slot interval to 15 minutes, you can have appointments that are multiple of 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45, 60, and so on. Select the interval style. This controls the occurrence of the time markers down the left side of the booking screen. Some clubs only need the hour markings to be displayed, while others prefer to see each and every time slot's time shown. The alternative choice displays every other slot's time marker as a compromise. Use the Set Hours of Operation button to set when this activity type can be booked for. In the Activity Type Schedule screen, right-click on the left side of the screen and select Add New then enter the From and To dates. Click and drag on a given date, then select the Allowed button to add the selected range. This will set the hours of operation for the defined range. Select the red X to close this window. The Facilities sub-tab can be used to associate the activity type to a specific facility. For example, a tennis activity type can be associated with a tennis court facility. If there are multiple facilities to be used, you can assign ranks to each of them. Likewise, the Resources sub-tab can be used to associate available resources to the activity type, such as a ball machine. The Color sub-tab can be used to assign each service category that applies to the activity type a background color to be used in the appointment bookings. The Confirmation sub-tab can be used to set email and notification preferences. 
You can define whether the system should send or print confirmation emails and or push notifications and SMS notifications to clients and maintain records to the back office. You can also send confirmations to providers and or club management. You can customize email confirmations by using the Forms button. Confirmations can be different for client, provider, and internal recipients. For new bookings, edit bookings, and cancel bookings, specify when confirmation should be sent, set which email confirmation form should be used, enter an email subject, and if printing, select a form for the body of the email. If your club has the mobile app, you can also enable push notifications. Select the green check mark to save the confirmation form settings. If sending confirmation emails to management, use the Management Email sub-tab to enter email addresses or select distribution lists that should receive confirmation emails. The Reminder sub-tab lets you set two different parameters for reminder emails, push notifications, and SMS notifications. The Email Settings sub-tab allows you to override the original SMTP slash email settings defined in the Global Settings program, specifically for appointment booking for this activity type. You can also set up a different sender's name and or email address based on activity type. If this activity type will be used for activity tracking, enable this activity type can be used in activity tracking. You can customize the description of an activity type, which will display on the check-in screen. You can define whether to allow or disallow client self-check-in, family, i.e. dependent, check-in, and user manual check-in which is performed by front desk staff. You can optionally have the system not default to the primary member when dependents check in using the primary member's number instead of their own dependent number. This option is only available when allow family check-in is checked. Otherwise, when you enter the primary number, it would only check that member in. The minimum time between two check-ins can be overridden for this activity type. This setting is originally configured in device rules. Member age can be displayed on the check-in screen. This is for members with ages less than the entered value. If your club utilizes Member Insight, you can send check-ins to Member Insight. You can restrict an activity type to be used in specific facilities and devices by flagging the eligible box. The POS Charges tab lets you configure activity types that are tracked through activity tracking and built on the Jonas Club Management POS system. The General sub-tab is used to select the applicable settlement item, such as member charge. Here you can also define whether to print, for manual check-ins only, and email chits. You can also customize the message that appears when a member does not have signing privileges. The Guest Charges sub-tab allows you to capture the number of guests and enable guest charging. The Item column lets you define the sales item that guests can purchase. Also, you can enter a customized description for the item. Using the Member Charges sub-tab, you can enable charging members. The item column lets you define the sales items that members can purchase. You can also enter a customized description for the item. If selected, the Apply Once Per Check-In field will set up check-ins in a way that if a member has multiple dependents, then only one charge would be applied per check-in. The Other Charges sub-tab lets you set up any ad hoc charges that will be applied when an activity type is tracked. An example of an ad hoc charge could be a towel fee or umbrella fee charged at a swimming pool facility. The Charges Based on Quantity field allows you to determine quantity of items at the time of check-in regardless of the number of people checking in. In contrast, the Apply to Members and Applies to Guests fields automatically set the quantity based on the number of people checking in. The sales item subjected to such charges should be defined using the items column. The optional feature of description override can also be used. Use the restriction tab to add a restrict access message and to set up check-in restrictions to disallow check-ins based on member statuses or fee billing activity categories. Once you've completed the activity type setup, select Save. Complete the setup for each required activity type. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more how-to videos, and don't forget to subscribe.